Have you ever wondered how our increasing reliance on technology impacts our mental health? It's an intriguing question, isn't it? As we delve into the digital age, technology has become an essential part of our daily lives. We wake up to the sound of digital alarms, check our emails over breakfast, and use GPS to navigate our commutes. But this constant interaction with technology can have profound effects on our mental health. Consider this. Studies have begun to draw links between excessive screen time and the rise of anxiety and depression. When we're constantly connected, our brains are continuously processing information, which can lead to mental fatigue. This constant stream of information can also make it difficult for us to focus, potentially leading to feelings of overwhelm and anxiety. And let's not forget about social media. These platforms, designed to bring us closer together, can paradoxically make us feel more isolated. The addictive nature of likes, comments, and shares can create a continuous loop of dopamine hits, leading to an unhealthy reliance on these platforms for validation. But it's not just about the quantity of time we spend online. The quality of our digital interactions also matters. The stress of always being connected, of feeling the need to respond promptly to every ping and notification can take a toll on our mental well-being. This constant connectivity can make it challenging to disconnect, relax, and recharge. However, it's important to remember that technology isn't inherently bad. It's how we use it that determines its impact on our mental health. By becoming more aware of our digital habits, we can start to make changes that promote a healthier relationship with technology. As we navigate through the digital age, understanding the impact of technology on our mental health is paramount. It's not about demonizing technology, but about recognizing its potential effects and taking proactive steps to manage them. Because at the end of the day, Technology is a tool, and like any tool, it's all about how we use it. Understanding this impact is the first step towards achieving digital wellness. As we move further into this series, we'll explore strategies to navigate the digital landscape in a healthier, more balanced way. Stay tuned. But what exactly do we mean when we talk about digital wellness? Well, imagine a seesaw. On one side, we have our digital lives, the emails, social media, streaming platforms, and so much more. On the other side, we have everything else that makes us human, our relationships, hobbies, physical health, and mental well-being. Digital wellness is all about maintaining a healthy balance between these two. In this digital age, our lives are inextricably linked with technology. It's how we work, play, learn, and connect with others. But while technology brings numerous benefits, it can also be a source of stress and anxiety if not managed properly. This is where digital wellness comes in. It's about using technology in a way that supports our well-being, rather than undermining it. Achieving digital wellness means finding a balance that allows us to benefit from technology without letting it control us. It's about understanding that while technology is a tool, it's not the only tool in our toolbox. Social media platforms have become a significant part of our lives, haven't they? They've evolved into virtual public squares where we gather to share our lives, express our views, and connect with others. But as with any technology, the effects of social media can be a double-edged sword. First, let's consider how social media shapes our perceptions. Every time we log in, we're greeted by a curated feed of highlights from the lives of others. This can create a distorted view of reality, where everyone else seems to be leading perfect, happy lives. It's easy to fall into the trap of comparing our own lives with all its ups and downs to these carefully selected snapshots. This comparison culture can breed feelings of inadequacy and dissatisfaction. Then there's the issue of online bullying. The anonymity and distance provided by the internet can embolden some to behave in ways they wouldn't in person, leading to hurtful and harmful interactions. This can have serious implications for mental health, particularly among young people who are still developing their sense of self and their place in the world. But it's not all doom and gloom. Used mindfully, social media can be a tool for good. It can provide a platform for positive interaction, learning, and even activism. It can help us stay connected with loved ones, meet new people, and discover new perspectives. By being selective about who we follow, what we share, and how we interact, we can cultivate a more positive social media experience. And remember, it's okay to step away from social media when it feels overwhelming. Taking regular digital detoxes can help us maintain a healthier relationship with these platforms. In the end, it's all about balance. Social media can be a powerful tool, but it's important to use it wisely. We spend a significant amount of our day staring at screens, but what effect does this have on our mental health? In our modern digital era, screens are almost unavoidable. There are work tools, 
our entertainment sources, and our connection to the world. However, this constant exposure to screens can have a variety of effects, some of which can be detrimental to our mental health. Firstly, let's discuss the physical effects of excessive screen time, such as eye strain. When we spend prolonged periods staring at screens, we often forget to blink as frequently as we should. This can lead to dryness, discomfort, and blurred vision, a condition colloquially known as computer vision syndrome. Over time, this can cause headaches and can contribute to feelings of fatigue and irritability, factors that can negatively impact our mental well-being. In an era where most of our communication happens online, how does this affect our mental health? It's a question that's been at the forefront of many minds, particularly as our world becomes increasingly digital. Let's delve into the intricacies of online communication and the potential impacts it can have on our mental well-being. One of the significant issues with online communication is the potential for isolation. It might seem counterintuitive, given that the internet has connected us to a global community. Yet, the paradox of modern communication is that even as we're more connected than ever, many of us can feel incredibly alone. The nature of online interactions can sometimes lack the depth and authenticity of face-to-face -face conversations, leading to feelings of loneliness and detachment. Miscommunication is another pitfall. Without the nuances of body language and tone of voice, messages can be easily misconstrued. This misinterpretation can lead to unnecessary conflict and stress, adding to mental health concerns. But it's not all doom and gloom. The digital realm also offers unique opportunities for connection. There's a certain beauty in being able to connect with people from all walks of life, from every corner of the planet. This global networking can broaden our perspectives, foster empathy, and even help us feel less alone. Moreover, the internet provides access to support networks and resources that might not be available locally. Online communities, forums, and support groups can be lifelines for individuals dealing with mental health issues. They offer a space to share experiences, seek advice, and find solace in the knowledge that they are not alone in their struggles. As we navigate the digital age, it's essential to be mindful of the potential impacts of online communication on our mental health. Like any tool, the internet is what we make of it. It can be a source of stress and isolation, or it can be a platform for connection and support. Online communication is a double-edged sword, offering both challenges and opportunities for our mental health. As we've seen, navigating digital wellness in the digital age is a complex task. We've delved into the profound impact of technology on mental health, observing both its benefits and pitfalls. We've explored the concept of digital wellness, a balanced and mindful approach to our interactions with the digital world, We've also highlighted the role of social media, a double-edged sword that can enrich our lives with connectivity, but also potentially harm our mental well-being with comparison and misinformation. The discussion of screen time effects underscored the importance of moderation, reminding us that too much of anything can be detrimental. Lastly, we touched on online communication, a vital part of our digital existence that can shape our mental health in subtle but significant ways. While the digital age brings challenges, understanding these issues allows us to take steps towards better digital wellness. As we move forward, let's continue to engage with technology mindfully, ensuring our digital experiences serve our well-being, not hinder it.